Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Point Montana, and in this video, we are gonna be going over five major tips to help you guys become better passers in Madden 23. Now, before I get into it, if you guys could do me the favor of liking the video, subscribing if you are new, and commenting down below in the comment section. It doesn't matter what it is. Comment whether you guys are struggling with anything. Comment your favorite football team, who you think is going to the Super Bowl. Or just comment FTA because it's for the algorithm and it helps push these videos out to more and more and more people. And obviously, the more people that get a hold of these videos, the more we grow. And we are closing in on 15,000 subscribers. So if you guys haven't already, man, hit that sub button, like, subscribe. You already know. Now, five tips to become a better passer. And I'm going to leave an honorable mention here. Um, five tips to become a better passer. I'm going to start with something that I've spoke about on this channel before and it's something that we all need to work on it doesn't matter what level of madden you guys play and that is pocket presence okay pocket presence is one of the most important things to being good a good player and what i mean by pocket presence i mean to know the ability of when you should get rid of the ball knowing reading blitzes coming in because that all that all gets tied in with pocket presence and being able to pretty much like make a read while dodging, you know, these 300 pound linemen that are trying to scream at you from the pocket. You have to be able to sit there and move up in the pocket so you guys can sit there and try and try your best to make reads. And obviously my, my entire defense has pick artists, so we're going to end up making some bad throws here. But again, you have to be able to sit there and s stay in your lane, stay in the pocket and make reads. If you can't do that, if you if you have zero idea how to maneuver around in the pocket, you're going to end up putting yourself at a disadvantage compared to somebody who does. So you'll see great players like Young Kiv or D Croft has some of the best pocket I've ever seen in my life. And that that man will move everywhere in the pocket and literally throw a dot. It's crazy, but that's something that's something that that's how we all strive to be when it comes to playing Madden is being being good in the pocket like someone like him obviously i'm blind and i have probably like a b plus you know what you know i'm i'm being i'm being generous i have like a c plus rated pocket pocket presence <laughs> so again i'm somebody who, who needs to work on it myself and again i'm not i practice what i preach so i'm not going to sit there and tell you guys to work on your pocket presence and not work on it myself because the, we we are in a game full of blitzers everybody's sending a blitz out and the more the, the more pocket we have the better we're going to fare off pocket presence learn it get better at it hop in the lab even if it's just against the cpu learn where to move around in in the pocket to make a better read as you can see i gave myself probably like four or five seconds to throw the ball and that should be enough time for anybody now the second thing because i felt like that was a that was a long-winded rant on pocket presence the second thing that i'd like to talk about is knowing your play and what i mean by that is knowing your read progressions when it comes to playing any type of offense so if i'm running bench this is a very good this is a very good play in madden uh when i'm running bench your first reads are going to be either square or O. and why is that because those are going to be the quickest routes that, that end up getting cut as you can see they're both they're both uh kind of clamped up so i end up going over to my tight end you have to be able to look around the field but you have to know what your first read is going to be and what your last read is going to be. So my first read is always going to be the shorter routes. And we have to learn to take those routes. We don't sit there and go, oh, man, I'm throwing a triangle. Why? Why Why? Why would we just jump up and aim for triangle? That's a predetermined read that's going to ruin the way you play Madden. You have to be able to take your check downs first. Why? Because you're just going to be able to move the chains over and over and over again. And that is kind of what makes and breaks whether someone looks at you like a good Madden player or a bad Madden player is if you're willing to take those easy, quick hits to kind of to kind of like, you know, kind of wear down the body of the opponent's defense. And then they're going to start over pursuing on these underneath routes. And then once that happens, then you guys can go ahead and take take the top off of defenses. Even if you're going for the ad catch, it doesn't matter what it is. You have to take those quick routes that your opponent gives you. Now, that's a deep out zone KO that just knocked that out. And that's unfortunate. But again, know your read progression. Like if I'm coming out in bunch, just to give a nice little example, we're going to come out in mesh. 
<coughs> so if I'm coming out in mesh, I'm probably gonna put R1 on some kind of a streak. And my first read is gonna be what? My first read is going to be the tight end going over to the flat. Why? Because I want my defender, whoever whoever I'm playing against, I want them to start focusing on guarding that tight end. So now that tight end gets a nice little gain of about three to four yards, and we're moving up. We're moving on up, moving on up, moving on up, moving on up. So let's audible over to a different formation just to give you guys a, def a different example. Uh, let's go to Z spot. So now we have two potential two potential early reads we have r1 that gets hit quick if he, if you see that the flats get nobody on or we have square on the left side that we can hit quick and then obviously o is going to be our main route that we're going to look at right and that's if we change nothing on this play so we're going to look at r1 r1's open that's our that's our first read we go ahead and we gain a we gain a beautiful gain of about 10 yards you have to know your play now granted i have no idea what play that was or what formation i just hopped into something random but again let's take it back to the bench play we're going to look at the outside routes because they're the they're the easiest things to hit and they're the quickest things to hit and then we're going to look to the second level to those corner routes and then that's going to determine what play we're going to actually call so squares open so we're going to go ahead and hit square quick and then you never know if you could break a tackle and end up taking a five-yard dot up up the field for about 20 yards. Know your play, know your read progressions, and that's gonna that's gonna make you a 10 times better Madden player in general. Now, the third thing that I'd like to talk about to make you guys better passers is knowing the defense. So the defense is going to come out in certain certain things. It doesn't matter what it is. And you have to, I did make a video on reading defenses. And if you guys want me to link that, let me know. Uh, let me know down in the comment section or because I know that I, I upload daily. So sifting through all those videos is probably going to be annoying. But if I forget, someone let me know down in the comment section and I'll pin it in, in the comment section. But to know how to read defenses is to be able to read your opponent very very easily whether it's pre-snap or after the snap is called so if i call hike this looks like a cover three to me so i'm gonna sit there and try to hit the seams in some way granted i know that you know that's just how i'm just running the same play i'm not changing anything up but you look at the safeties and see where they go this is another cover three so i'm gonna hit the seams again simply because i I know how to read defenses after the snap and what the safeties do. Again, there is a video on the channel show, showing you guys how to do that. And this is another situation. This looks like this looks like cover zero, and it was uh, cover one or cover zero. But e either way, it's a man coverage blitz. Um, and whatever the defense is running right now, it looks like they're running it on base aligned. So we're not we're not being able to see the kind of defense that they're running pre-snap which makes it a little bit more difficult and this looks like a cover oh i pressed the wrong button i wanted to press triangle there because triangle was open but again reading defenses before the snap is a huge component into being a, being a better passer because you start knowing what exactly it is that you're going to do this looks like a cover two and it is so we're going to go ahead and be able to throw that and throw the throw the laser against that cover two and then once you see the defense split apart uh the <laughs> excuse me the safety sp split apart you know for a fact that this is covered too this guy's backpedaling underneath which allows us to throw this pass over the top again this is just by me knowing how to read defenses pre-snap and after the snap this allows me to pretty much have that understanding of what's going to be open and what's not now that is a huge huge important thing to know now this, the fourth thing, I believe this is the fourth thing that I'm going to talk about is knowing meta concepts. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether, whether you're on defense or whether you're on offense, knowing meta concepts on offense and defense are only going to help you. It's going to help you be better at Madden. It's going to help you be better on defense and it's going to help you a lot be better as a passer. So what I mean by that is you guys have to know what meta blitz is out there so if i if i call timeout to choose a different play i'm going to go ahead and call dollar you guys have to learn how to beat the meta so i'm I, i'm going to come out in dollar and i'm going to come out in db fire press and db fire press everybody does this they bring down the safeties make sure the safeties are underneath why just so that they don't get agged and then they take their they take their their defense 
and they're going to sit there and just blitz that outside corner for a majority of, uh, of the time and then they'll randomly blitz this guy here that is one of them this is one of the meta defenses in the game right now right so how do you how do you beat something like this high balls and quick hits that's like that's like the meta right there is is i mean granted I, i'm just you know bad throw by brady whatever but again you guys have to know how to beat the meta in madden to get better at madden now granted brady's just overthrowing these passes and there's not much i can do about that to get a high ball i'm just trying to get a high ball aggressive catch because that's one of the main things that happens in madden this year at least is high ball aggressive catches but without without that even being the case this is something that everybody needs to get better at is beating the meta once you learn how to beat the meta you're going to be able to shift through and beat whatever other meta it doesn't even matter if you're learning how to run the ball against the meta or learning how to pass the ball you have to know how to beat the meta to be a good passer so you guys have to know those meta concepts like this isn't even the only meta concept i i showcased the loop blitz coming out of nickel so we come out in the loop blitz and then we're going to come out and let's go let's come out in saints end it's a very popular play the loop blitz they come out they contain and now all of a sudden you're getting absolutely hummed at from a defensive end and it's very very hard to beat especially within the man the man coverage meta that is currently going on in madden in madden 23 so learn the meta concepts and then and then hop in the lab and learn how to beat those meta concepts it doesn't matter if you have one controller two controllers well you kind of need two controllers for it so for those of you guys who don't have two controllers this is a very you know this is something that you're going to have to look up or you know lab against better players or find players that will run this against you but knowing those meta concepts is going to help you in testing yourself into beating those meta concepts now <clears throat> excuse me the last thing i'd like to talk about is knowing how to block blitzes this is a this is one of the most important things in the game simply because everybody everybody in the game should have some kind of ability um on their quarterback if they're trying to pass the ball it doesn't matter what it is hot route master gunslinger set feet lee I, right now this is the new brady that just came out for christmas and i have fearless hot route master and uh i have fearless hot route master set feet lead uh and gunslinger i have i have the whole i have the every single ability that you could want on a quarterback so with that being said wow he clamped him with that being said you you're gonna you're gonna already have these abilities right to throw the ball faster but at the same time you're gonna need to be able to get the ball out and within a certain amount of time and the way that you do that is learning how to block blitzes or throw against the blitz so many people have so many issues throwing against blitzes is, and it's the, honestly the main reason is because they don't lab it they don't practice it and it, it allows people to sit there and send the same blitz over and over and over and over and over again and it gets frustrating to the point where you, there's not much that you can do to actually score like in in a, in a situation like that a lot of people would freeze up and they'll throw a pick simply because of the user taking away that taking away their first read while a blitz like this comes in. Now, if you guys don't know how to block the loop blitz, I'll talk about that in a separate video. But obviously, you know, learn how to block your dollar blitzes, learn how to block the looping blitzes, learn how to block uh, the send six meta, you know, out of four, three, six, one or the mid blitz type of situations. All these blitzes in this game are able to be blocked. It doesn't matter what blitz it's that's in the game. Every single blitz has a remedy to being blocked. And that is a huge component in becoming a better passer because it doesn't matter what championship they're in. Um, guys like Henry who come out in bunch or Wesley, these guys know the ins and outs of all these blitzes. So they're able to learn and figure out how to block them to where they just aren't a factor when it comes to these competitive games and people watch these competitive series and they go man there's no defense in madden 
Well, there is defense. It's just these guys have learned how to block those defenses, and they're so good at making their reads because they're just becoming better passers. That that's like the that's one thing that they've focused on is learning how to become better passers, and it's taken them to new heights. And I think Henry's at like half a million dollars of money won playing Madden, and that's simply because he's practiced enough to sit there and perfect whatever it is that he's running. Now. I got an honorable mention, and that's <laughs> that's getting comfortable highballing. Now, a lot of people struggle with highballing in Madden, and it's simply just a height thing. You have to have height on the field, and you have to be comfortable. And I said it, I, I've said it before, and I think everybody has to have their actual scheme where they're sitting there and they got their open dots. And then they have to have that bailout scheme where it's like, all right, if I don't, if I, if this guy's clamping my regular scheme up, I have to make him, I have to make him respect the aggressive catch. Now, granted, I'm not going to get it off here simply because I'm just not. But <laughs> if you guys watch me play, you guys know for a fact that if I see that one on one situation, I'm not going to hesitate to throw a nice little ag ball. Like, like you know what? Let me just showcase that, that I know how to ag, like I just said, instead of me just talking about it. Now, granted, overthrow. Let me, I, I'm, I'm going to run that back one more time. I don't care if this video is 30 minutes long. I feel like these are all great, great talking points when it comes to um, trying to be a better passer. So, again, you see that guy cross over, and Tom Brady just keeps overthrowing the, the, these passes, which is kind of annoying me. But again, this is just an honorable mention. You guys don't have to go for the high balls here, but I think going for the high balls just makes offenses 10 times better because now your opponent has to be cautious of you throwing the high balls. And it doesn't matter what formation that you guys are throwing high balls in. You guys can sit there and throw high balls out of a bunch of different formations. So again, high balls just lead to those better animations where you're going to throw the ball almost where only that person can get it. It's not even about going for the aggressive catch but to just throw passes where only your guy can can get it is something that is something that like oh and we're getting screamed at it's something that a lot of people need to be comfortable or get comfortable doing even if you're in on classic passing or freeform passing you need to get comfortable learning how to highball it's a it's like crucial to being a good passer in Madden nowadays. Not nowadays. And in previous Maddens, it was low balls. In these Maddens, it's high balls. High balls are the wave. And that's going to be my honor, my honorable mention for this video on how to become a top-tier passer in Madden 23. If you guys have anything to add to this, please leave it down in the comment section. Because um, I know pocket presence is important. Reading defense is, is, is important. Um, beating the blitz, extremely important. Um, learning how to freeform and, and, you know, classic passing, like these are all things that are just going to add to your pocket, add to your understanding of being a good passer. And again, the more uncomfortable you put yourself, the more uncomfortable position you put yourself in, the better player you guys will end up becoming. So if you struggle against a blitzer, face blitzers, play blitzers, literally set yourself up playing blitzes and see how, see how well you can do against certain things like that. Even if you have to do this, if you have two controllers, by all means, try this out for me and let me know how, how it works. Go into, go into concept or play type and type blitz and then click L3. Why? Because you're going to sit there and face random blitzes. Now, granted, you're not going to adjust. Maybe if you want to just sit there and shade underneath, you're not really going to adjust, but you're going to be able to sit there and, you know, work your way to, 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 to kind of passing through people sending a ton of pressure. I know it's frustrating, but it will, it will serve you guys a lot better than you guys sitting here frustrated um, that you're getting hummed at nonstop over and over and over and over and over again. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video, man. This was this was a long one, but I feel like a lot of people are starting to convert back to the run game when it's just not that good this year, especially when Dollar is still as good of run defense as goal line defense is. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video, man. If you guys need any more tips, leave it down in the comment section below, and uh, I'll try my best to find something for anybody. Now, I will see you guys in the next video, man. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.